I'm going to show you how to assemble an aerated static pile composting system. That's an ASP. Here's one that's already in process. We've got a blower. We've got PVC pipe that I've perforated about every foot the length of this windrow. And the holes are about 5 8 inch uh, wide. And we've got a timer that kicks this blower on every uh, 20 minutes or so. And uh, underneath this pile of material, there's the pipe, there's a level of mulch, and then there's the mixed material, and then it's capped. Now, these are the pipes we're going to use today. And this is the new material that we're going to put on that pipe. This is basically miscellaneous wood chips dropped off by tree services. We're going to use this today to form what we call the plenum layer, which will be right on top of the pipe so that when the air blows through the pipe, it helps distribute that air throughout the pile. So we'll be putting this on top of the pipe. You'll see that in a moment. When we're finished making the windrow, we're going to cover it. We're going to cap it with this material. These are overs which means when we screened a batch, these were the pieces that didn't go through the screen to be sold. So you can see it's thicker. We're gonna put a layer of about four to six inches over the top to insulate it and to neutralize any odors that there might be. Okay, a few uh, words about the placement of the pipe. Uh, this end pipe, as you can see, oops, excuse me, uh, it has holes, but not all the way down, right? You're gonna have material up to here and a little bit beyond, and then capping material, but the holes end a good at least four feet from the end, more like six, eight feet. And uh, I'm gonna connect each of these sections with a little bit of duct tape or gorilla tape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just to keep them placed. Now, it's in this spot because I measure with seven of my boot links from the last pile. And that's important because you want to be able to get your skid steer along the pipe without destroying the pipe and without digging into a different batch. So that's why it's here. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect these two pipes. We're going to put some mulch on. That mulch will just barely cover the pipe and go about three feet on either side, maybe two and a half to three feet. And then finally, uh, the mix. Okay, and we'll just continue that process the whole way down. 